So you want to run large language models locally on your computer, whether it is Llama 2, Stable Beluga 2, or heck, Vulkan. All of those kinds of models, which are open source, can be run locally on your MacBook or Windows computers or Linux if that's the case. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do all of those things, interact with all of the state-of-the-art open source models on your local device with the easiest tutorial you'll find on the internet. Let me show you. All you need is TextGen Web UI. This is a GitHub repository that is the best solution that I have found out on the internet that allows you to play around with a lot of models which are available outside. Even models that are on Hugging Face and are trained by some other random guy on the internet, you can test those models out for yourself to see whether that model matches your application or not. So all you gotta do is click on code and then download the zip file. Now you can do this with your terminal as well, but I'm assuming a lot of people who wanna play around with these models don't have that much technical expertise. So I'm trying to use graphical user interface just for everybody's sake. Now, once you unzip the file, you should have a folder named text generation web UI main. Double click that and open the readme file. Now, when you open the readme file, you can ignore all of it. Just go to installation and then see one click installers. Now, based on what kind of machine you are using, whether it is Linux, Windows or Mac, you can figure out which link to click on. Here, I'm using an M1 Mac computer. So I'm going to click on my particular link, which is this one. Click on that and download that zip file. So once you unzip the folder, you basically have to run this file called start underscore Mac OS. For Linux and Windows, it will be a different file and a different file name. In order to run the file, you have to open the terminal and locate to the folder. In my case, I'm just opening the terminal at the folder. Just to make sure that I am at the terminal, just type ls and yes, I can see my file there. Then in order to run that file, you have to actually prep the file. For that, you have to type this line. I will leave the line in the description as well, so you can just copy paste it. And the line is chmod space plus small x space start. Now, once you just type st, you can just hit tab and it will autofill the name of the file. Now we have prepped the file and now we only have to run it. Now in order to run the file, you only have to type dot backslash and then st and then hit tab. It will fill the name of the file and then hit enter. So once it starts to install it, it will ask you a question that is your GPU NVIDIA, AMD, Apple or none? I'm installing this environment on my M1 Apple MacBook. So that is why I'm going to select option number three, which is C and then press enter. And then it's going to run the whole code for itself. It's going to take a while because it's still installing a lot of dependencies. It is also going to give you a warning that you haven't downloaded any model yet. Once the UI launches, head over to the bottom of the model and then load model. So no need to worry about that. Just get the web UI started first and then we will worry about the other things later. Now your user interface is already running. It will be running on this port. So HTTP at the bottom, just copy this line of HTTP, copy that, go to the browser and paste that. And there you go. That's your web user interface. Now you have, congratulations, you have figured out the most important and the most hard part of this whole process, which was to actually install the web UI on your computer. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually install any model, whether it is Llama 2 from Meta, Stable Beluga 2, or any other model that you can run on your computer and then test it out. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can run Stable Beluga first version, a 13 billion parameter model locally on your computer. In order to do that, go to this lovely fellow's Hugging Face page. A huge shout out to Block AI. He has created Stable Beluga 13 million quantized model. So I'm just gonna go and copy this title, go to my web UI, select model, and then paste it right there and click download. Now. Depending upon your internet speed, it's going to take 5 to 15 minutes to download this. And once you download it, you can actually run it locally on your computer and ask questions. So once your model is downloaded, it will show up here in the drop down section. Just select the model and click on load. Once you load the model, you'll get the message here that successfully loaded this particular model. Now you are ready to go and talk to your model. So for example, let's ask a simple question. What is two plus seven? And uh, let's see what kind of answer it gives us. Two plus seven is nine, that's pretty correct. Let's ask a little challenging question. So the question is that it takes four minutes to dry two shirts outside in the sun. How long will it take to dry four shirts? Should be the same amount of time, but let's see how it predicts. So answer, it says that it would take approximately 16 minutes to try the shot, which is a wrong answer, but again, you can play around with it. 
Now, feel free to go to any kind of model that you have in mind. Right now, I'm using Tom Jobbins Hugging Face Portal to actually figure out which model I'm going to play around with it. But there are a bunch of other models outside. You can try it out. Some of them don't have that inbuilt safety feature enabled. So you can ask nefarious questions as well, which I don't recommend. But if you just want to play around with the safety of the models, it's a great way to do it. If you like the video, consider subbing or subscribe to the newsletter. See you next time.